Guys, Derek Giovanni, Derek G Photography, walking down Champs d'Elysees. Arc de Triomphe behind me. I don't know if you can see it. I gotta tell you. Okay. This is gonna be a heartfelt review. Osmo Pocket. Okay, just go get one, $700. And get the Creator Combo. As far as the value for the price of what you get, it's amazing. Let me tell you why. <laughs> I just experienced it, okay? Like when you are in a place like Paris, where there are people everywhere, there are people you may not trust <laughs> that are in these crowds, and you're gonna constantly be thinking about your gear. Like I have my Sony, I brought my a7R 3 and I love it, right? Uh, but I'm being protective of it and my lenses, right? So I'm only pulling out one thing when I pull out the Osmo and pull out the a7R 3 and it does a great job. But I only use one at a time. But I think I this, today was the day where I realized just how amazing this Osmo Pocket 3 is. And let me tell you why. This time-lapse and motion-lapse photography that you get off of this thing is sick sick and not only that it's easy and that is the important thing it is so easy yeah so it takes you like five minutes to learn about it check out this video about when i actually learned how to do it i learned a little bit about it before i came here it does take about five to ten minutes to learn how to do it properly but once you know it oh my god i got up to the front of the crowds at the arc de triomphe okay and i pulled this thing out I set it up, I had, a, I had an eight stop ND filter from Newer. I bought it from Newer. I didn't get the Freewell version because Freewell is a little bit more expensive. So I got the Newer version. And you know, the, I don't know, I'm not, it, it might be a little bit more green, a little bit more magenta, whatever. I don't really care. Uh, the Newer product seems to do the job. And that's all I care about. I'm not gonna pixel peep the Newer product. I actually loved it. The eight stop ND filter, I set it up for a 10 second time lapse. And the, but the thing was, and this is why I love it so much, is because it took me two minutes to get the thing on a tripod, to put it on the ground, to turn it on, to turn on the setting and go. Okay, let me tell you what you have to do when you have, heck, when you have a, well here's the thing, with motion lapse, I don't even know how you, I mean you'd have to get a special kind of tripod that turned mechanically. I don't even know how I would do it, okay? This thing just does it, right? Even time-lapse, time-lapse is so easy. You get this thing on the ground, it takes, you know, it takes two minutes to set it up, it takes two minutes to configure your time-lapse. You press play and you go. Okay, I've seen people do similar time-lapse photography with their cameras and they can do it, right? They can do it, but it definitely takes too longer than two minutes for somebody that doesn't know what the hell they're doing, right? And for, it's gonna take you like, I don't know, like 10, 15, maybe even 20 minutes, I don't even know, maybe more. And the problem with that when you're in a place like this is that it's gonna make you look vulnerable, right? You don't wanna look vulnerable. You want that confidence when you're shooting, right? So it's gonna make you look more confident. Not only that, it's gonna make you feel safer in a place like this where there's a lot of things going on, right? So yeah, I'm convinced this Osmo Pocket 3 is no joke okay and i just talked to this guy i met this guy next to the arc de triomphe and he was shooting icon and he asked me about it he's like wow that's pretty cool so i showed him the time lapse footage and he's like wow and i told him man dude just spent i mean 700 dollars is not cheap i get it um but yeah it is 700 dollars well spent and to be honest with you, if I were considering, like if you do a video, if I were considering getting this and going for like a two to $3,000 camera, I know I was looking at the Sony ZV-E1, still want it, <laughs> but I was looking at that and I was looking at this. And I, on, for, my, for my purposes, where I really want to get that, where I really want to get that bokeh and where I really want to get that background is for my photography. I'm a photographer at heart. So videography is new, new to me, right? 
but man, I, I, this was this was a great purchase, seven hundred dollars, and the background still looks great. It's a little bit out of focus. I'll take it. It gets you blogging in two seconds. Yeah, I'm a convinced. I'm convinced. So, like before I got this Osmo Pocket, I was, I had my phone on a gimbal, and I've seen a lot of people walk around with phones on gimbals, with cameras on gimbals, and they look silly to me. They look silly. They look silly and they are noticed, right? Because you have all this gear. It's like this big gear. I wouldn't walk around in Paris around a bunch of people with that. I'll walk around with this. This is small, inconspicuous, and I love it. Not only that, and then, so here's another thing. I, I will say this about the Osmo Pocket. We went to Disneyland Paris on day two. If you get a chance to go to Disneyland Paris, you really should. It's beautiful. If you're a Disney fan, you got to go to Disneyland Paris. So at the beginning, at Disneyland Paris, they tell you that you can't walk around with selfie sticks, right? Hello. Can't walk around with selfie sticks, and they want the gear to be small. I don't blame them. I, I would. I'm not a big fan of going into Disneyland with a big, big camera. The only way I ever do that is if I get in for a special event, and that that hasn't happened yet. But if it happens, I'll bring in a big camera. But my Disney experience, I want it to be light. Right? You're gonna be going on rides. You don't want to have to think about your gear that much. You want to be able to put it in a small bag. This fits in a small bag. I was walking around Disneyland Paris with this. I shot a little bit of footage in Disneyland Paris, but I never felt like I was breaking the rules. You know what I mean? This is small, it's light, it's smaller than most. It's almost as big as a phone, so they're not going to have a problem with it as long as you're not disrupting the guests. I saw a couple people walking around with selfie sticks. I'm surprised that Disney didn't call them out. I wonder if they did, but I saw it. And I was, I was just thinking to myself, Dude, I have something, in my opinion, I have something that's better than a selfie stick. This thing is so small. It can go anywhere. Yeah, I am a believer. I'm a believer in the Osmo Pocket. The only thing, and I, I mentioned this, man, and I wish these types of things worked better with Android devices. I'm, I'm knocking Osmo a little bit. I wish their application worked a little bit better with Android. Uh, here it works better with Apple devices. There are a lot of applications or a lot of third-party devices that have problems working with Android devices. So, I mean, I'm probably gonna switch to an iPhone for my next phone, only because I think it's gonna make it easier using uh, these types of devices and for photography in general. So that's, that's the only thing. It, that is the only hurdle. Everything else, this Osmo Pocket is no flippin' joke. No joke. No joke. I went out to the Eiffel Tower yesterday, and we got some beautiful footage with the little Osmo Pocket. I never feel, it's a thing, I never feel like I am a burden. I always feel like, I mean, I saw people with big cameras out there. I had my big camera out there. And I, I switched them back and forth. Um, but when, I'm, when I was taking video footage, B-roll, this is a B-roll beast, by the way. Took a ton of B-roll while I'm here. I know a lot of people are throwing praise at the Osmo Pocket 3. And this is just my I mean, this footage speaks for itself. The vlogging's great, but the motion lapse and the time lapse is a game changer. Game changer. Um, you really need to, you, if you're going to consider doing time lapse and motion lapse, I am a true believer that you need to go out and buy at least a six to eight stop ND filter to get that really cinematic look. Oh, check this footage out also. I didn't mention this. So uh, I worked with a model yesterday and we got some video footage. I don't remember what the ND filter, we did, we did slap something on. It's probably like a four, maybe a four stop. ND, so we could get a little more cin cinematic footage. So that was good. Um, but yeah, I mean, just this is my review. Yeah, Osmo Pocket. I am. I'm a believer. They're doing things that photographers and videographers should be considering, um, adding to their arsenal. Really easy. I mean, off the bat, it took me it took me an hour to learn how to use this thing. Just consider it. Anyway, this is Derek G Photography signing out. Have a good day. Bye-bye.